Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Encyclopedia of Children's Health Corps and Ali Academy. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this video is protein-rich chickpeas and protein-poor corn and brown rice. The subject of genetically modified crops should bring concerns to all of us. I think it is unfortunate that we have unleashed upon ourselves genetically modified species which did not evolve with us and we really do not know the long-term consequences. My strong sense is that the frightening rise in the incidence of food allergy is contributed to by genetically modified diets. The hard scientific evidence for this is not yet forthcoming, but I have some other concerns too. But I want to give you some information for the counterpoint. A huge number of people in the world are hungry. An estimated more than <clears throat> a billion children in the world go to their beds or straw hat mats hungry. So I want to give you some information. The protein content of chickpeas of certain varieties is 9%. Compare it with the protein content of corn at 3.5% and of brown rice of 2.5%. I have recommended brown rice to my patients for decades. I think it's a wonderful grain. Tends not to be allergenic and it is very rich in minerals. Much, much better than white rice. Of course, you can always go to one step further and use wild rice, W-I-L-D, wild rice. I thought I wanted to do a short segment on this only to let you know that this unfortunate development of GMO crops is bringing a lot of negative things. But we ought to recognize when the other side gives us valid reason. Do we, do we really have a right to let children and other people go hungry to their bed while we are, for ideological reason, or sometimes for very good scientific reasons, fight GMOs? Well, first of all, you cannot fight GMOs anymore. 50 countries in the world already are using these varieties of chickpeas which are high in energy and high in protein. Desperately needed protein for poor children, malnourished children, undernourished children. In a recent trip to Pakistan, a big farmer told me that 95% of their seeds come from India and India gets it from Monsanto in the United States. Just think about that. I asked him what would be the probability of bringing back the natural seeds for your crops and he shrugged and he said none. In fact the remaining 5% seeds that we have for our uh, crops or vegetables or fruits we expect this is going to become extinct as well. But those are very unfortunate trends because Monsanto seeds do give you a big yield initially but later on these yield advantages, they are lost and the crop production is actually low. If there were a way that we could put this genie back in the box and ban all genetically modified crops, if there were a way, it would be worth trying but I have to tell you something else that these genetically modified seeds which already permeate our globe you cannot eradicate them. The next best thing, of course, would be for nutritionally enlightened people to keep a watch and try to find out in a non-ideological way, in a scientific way, which of these varieties are least unacceptable but have the best advantages. Hence, I thought I will tell you that some species of chickpeas have more than three times as much protein and energy 
as brown rice, which are ordinarily, con ordinarily considered a, a good grain. The other thing I might point out is that these new varieties of chickpeas, they can withstand harsh climate condition conditions in countries in Africa, for example, in certain parts of India. Remember now, the water tables have been sinking and sinking and sinking in some parts of India and Africa. There are no water tables. So there are much bigger threats of water scarcity all over the world. So I thought I'll just give you an argument which the other side gives. And I do think that they have some validity. Forward this YouTube segment to promote an enlightened discussion of this subject rather than ideological diatribes. We provide information which is free of cost, free of corporate deceptions, and free of ideological distortions. Thank you. Thank you so much.